the work on the island went on. And soon the pedestal was completed. Piece by piece, the skeleton was raised. Then the copper skin was riveted in place. Liberty was put back together like a giant jigsaw puzzle. The statue had been built not once, but twice. At last, in 1886, Liberty was standing where she belonged. A wonderful celebration was held. Boats and ships filled the harbor. Speeches were read, songs were sung. Bartholdi himself unveiled Liberty's face and she stood, gleaming in all her glory for everyone to see. There was a great cheer from the crowd. Then, President Grover Cleveland gave a speech. Over the years, Immigrants have arrived to begin new lives in America. To them, the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of all their hopes and dreams. She has welcomed millions of people arriving in New York by ship. Every year, on the 4th of July, Independence Day, the United States of America celebrates its independence. Fireworks light up the sky above New York Harbor. The Statue of Liberty is a truly unforgettable sight, a symbol of all that is Franco-American. The Story of the Statue of Liberty by Betsy and Giulio Maestro. You've tuned in Brooklyn Blowback with music by Dreamland Faces. This is the third Saturday of September, and we'll take a brief pause and be right back after this important 
maneuver 